it worked out. All right. I'll try. Level 27, got some billion. Send that shit to the convoy.
I am back from the break, and uh, yeah, we are. I, I had to take a little break for a second, and uh, yeah, we are just going to continue from here uh, playing some Fire Emblem Three Houses, uh, and yeah, uh, we defeat, uh, we finished this uh, last auxiliary battle, and we're about to head over to um, uh, we're about to end off this month and uh, start the war. So I thought since this is probably going to be like a long long like cutscenes and shit we're just going to separate it off here and um yeah now that we're good now that we're gucci so to speak now that we're good let's go ahead and uh get right into it i'm just gonna uh roll the fucking intro <laughs> all right let's go ahead and just get started right into this right into the battle I forgot to look and see how long to beat this game is. But uh, I have a feeling that the church is lying to us for some reason. But Edelgard turned heel and Listen we have up, to. Everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the goddess's protection on our side. Okay. We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor, are you ready? Almost. Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. Hey, we watched her twice, so I mean, like, it's already? not... Talk about impatient. If we don't stop them, the Academy will be destroyed. Prepare for battle, everyone. We will stop Edelgard's rampage. Our opponent is formidable. But if we work together, we will not fail. Enough talking. Let's go! Dear Goddess, please protect us all. I shall fight with all that I have. It is an honor to fight alongside each of you. Professor, Claude, you'll lead the way, won't you? You won't let any of us fall, right? I mean, I will try my hardest not to, but luckily we're not playing on like critical to talk mode. To first, but as expected, that won't be possible. What did she hope to accomplish at the Holy Tomb? What happened to you as a baby? There are still so many things I need to know. The same goes for the real origin of the Crest Stones and the Hero's Relics. As for Seros and Nemesis, just how much of their mythology is true? You know so little. It's true. But lucky for me, I refuse to die with so much still unknown. Hey, Teach. All joking aside, can 
Can we possibly survive this battle? That's all we can do, right? If we gave up, the God of Fate wouldn't be happy. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not the kind of man to just roll over and die in a place like this. I have my own ambitions to see to. There are things, dreams, that I must see come to fruition. And I've been thinking, I want you to see those dreams realized as well. On top of all that, there are still so many secrets out there just waiting to be uncovered. We can't let that stand, can we? So, Teach, no, scratch that. You're so much more. You're my ally and my friend. Teach, friend, none of those words quite capture what you've come to mean to me. We may not be connected by blood, but I believe our bond goes deeper than that. Now that we know each other, our hearts are connected. Even if our paths diverge and we're forced to say goodbye, I know that we'll meet again. And so, for lack of a better word, I gratefully call you my friend. And I hold fast to the belief that this isn't it for us. No matter who or what you really are, I'll always be on your side. You can't count on You're much giving the world. speech like you're about to die. You like somebody's about that. to like bite the dust super hard. And it's not going to be me. I tell you that for sure. Every battle has to be at the end of the month. I am appreciative of Edelgard holding off. Uh, let's see if we have any certifications. Hilda, we're still like not low level, but like we. Why is Sedith even on my team? All right. Uh. Let me see. I need a new sword. So one sword. Actually, hold on. Armor Slayer. 80. He has another silver bow. Oops, by Raphael. Shit. Require I need three umbral still? Come on now. <sighs> Come on now. Mission at Garrick Moss, yeah. Alright, I'm excited. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see if in fact we do fall at the Garrick Ma. Do all right, let's fight. Oh, I think we should be good. Let me look at the units and see who we got. Uh,
Catherine is 22. What, what's Shamir at? Shamir's at 22, right? All right. All right. Let's fight. Let's fight. Uh, begin battle. Yes. Do, do. I have a report. The enemy is within the walls. They're about to break the defensive line. We have two priorities for this battle. Protect the Archbishop and maintain the defensive line. Reinforcements should arrive soon, so just hold your ground until then. All right, okay, so we got our allies going. All right, all right. Ready anytime. Who knew? Crush them all. Stay focused. That is that. Oh. The glory. Okay. I need to switch my weapon. Do, do, do. I got this. and willing. Okay, do, do, do. I stand ready. Yo, what was that? Oh, okay. Dog, look at God, look at ignorance. Ignorance is like putting in the finest of work. This is going to be a hard battle. I can already tell. Dog, these soldiers suck. Thank you, Hannerman. Hannerman. Thank you. Oh, thank you for that. What? You, there's other people on this field that can use more. It is 
decided. Let's think carefully. Report. The enemy has taken the entrances where the reinforcements were heading. So long as we can recapture the east and west strongholds, we might be able to call in the reinforcements. Alright, well that is cool. Actually, save that for my enemies. All right, come on, please give me some more defense. Hey, yes. Hey, All right, let's get it. Oops. Come on, miss. Yeah, there we go, Flan. Wow, that was a critical. Well. 
Alright, I will hold this line. Alright. This is our chance. Okay. Get things done. All right, come at me. Oh, okay, thank God. All right. I cannot lose Hilda. Hilda is the powerhouse. Shit. I must call it a it's over. That is that. I've got a grasp on. Each battle, a chance to grow. I have to try. I have 
no choice but to distinguish myself in this fight. Okay. Fine work. Stop healing randos and heal me. Should I have held back? I want to go home. All right, so the Death Knight is over there. Oh, thank God. But that death knight. Oh, thank God. Okay, I got lucky. Yeah. I'll press on. Stop healing these scrubs and heal us. expected. Ooh, why did I do that? 
I just created another entry point for them up oh, well whatever not much I can do about it now I could use a break Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Apologies. Dog, he didn't even need it. Okay, all right. Um. Dog got fucking wrecked. Yes, I got a dark seal. Yeah, send that to the. We took back one of the strongholds. On to the next. done all right so I guess now that we got everything situated let's push onward then to appreciate is that we have at our backs a force you cannot hope to defeat yeah uh, why don't you hold this for a second i can afford to fall back we still have the advantage all right we took back both of the strongholds let's keep up the momentum
All right, then let's just keep pushing then. All right, let's My life was changed forever by her majesty. Now I lay it on the line for the empire. Lady Edelgard, I'm so sorry. I can't keep going. I must retreat. Oh, so they're retreating. They're not dying. Scrubs, hurry up, do what you're doing. Yeah, look at yourself. Look, you fucking got owned. Because you guys suck. Well, I GG. I wish you were someone whose heart could be swayed by my words and deeds. If it were so... I would have done anything to make you my ally. <laughs> well, you just got wrecked super hard. It's fine though. We all have our days. You fought well, but now your fight is over. What? Send in our reserve troops. And give my uncle the signal. Uh. What is this? What's happening? I was like, oh, connecting, connecting. What is she doing? 
Everybody here, young and old, is in your hands. Wait, what? <sighs> no, I will not allow another Red Canyon tragedy to happen here. Yo, she turned into a dragon. Yo, what the? Yo, what the fuck? What is going on? Oh shit. I'm just going to look. Oh, who? I am dead. So much. In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hersfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Lester Alliance. The unification of Fodlin has begun. Yo, what the fuck? Reunion Part at two, dawn. Verdant wind. Ethereal moon. Reunion at dawn. It is Imperial Year 1185. Nearly five years have passed since the fall of the monastery at Garrig Mach, and war continues to plague the lands of Fodlin. Ferdiad has been captured. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in shambles. The Leicester Alliance is on the verge of collapse, fractured by two opposing factions, those who support the Adrestian Empire and its ruler, and those who seek her demise. Meanwhile, under Emperor Edelgard's rule of law, the Adrestian Empire continues to expand its reach. The path to a new Fodlin, unified by Imperial strength, may yet be in sight. You. How long do you intend to sleep? 
Ooh, Sothis is back. Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now, and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Excuse me? Are you saying you have forgotten who I am? How dare you? Get on your feet. Right now. I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Okay. Hey, are, are you awake? Uh, where am I? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Oh, uh, what do you huh? mean? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Anyway, I've heard some thieves have been spotted around those parts these days. Um... Are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Ooh. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? The monastery. Are you crazy? I, I told you. They say thieves are running amok up there. And there's plenty of other dangers, too. Come on. I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you. Got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. My students are waiting for me. Students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. Holy shit, it's been fun. I knew there was a time skip, but I didn't know it was going to happen like this. This is like end game. Oh shit, look at Claude, look at the glow up. Pretty rude to keep a fella waiting like that, wouldn't you say? What's with that surprised look, my friend? You didn't really think I'd given up on you coming back, did you? Can you feel it? A new dawn is finally here. Not just for us, though. No. For all of Fodor. It's been five long years. Where have you been, Teach? You don't really expect me to believe that you've been napping this whole time, do you? I don't remember. It's <laughs> a good one. Except that's not your lying face. I guess I've got no choice but to believe you. You're not exactly normal to begin with, so it's not a huge stretch to imagine you sleeping for that long. And this is where you say, just kidding. Right? If this is a rib, now's the time to fess up. It's the truth. You must be insane. And yet... Uh, fine. I believe you, okay? But that means you don't know anything that happened after your last battle, right? I guess it's on me to catch you up. As you can see, Garrick Mach was crushed by the Empire and was never restored. The monastery is in ruins, and the town is in pretty bad shape, too. Can you guess why? Hmm. 
would seem that's one possible explanation, since you insist that's what you've been up to. All we know for sure is that Rhea suddenly vanished during that battle five years ago. The Knights of Seros have apparently been searching all over Fodland for her. But the fact that this place is in ruins tells me they still haven't found her. True. I've got a mountain of questions I'd like to ask her after all. Yeah, she but turned I'm into a fucking so dragon. Sure whether it would be good for her to return as the Archbishop. Rather, with her gone... Uh, never mind. This could be a dangerous conversation. Before we discuss the state of affairs in each territory... Are you hungry? You must be. It's not much, but I did bring some food with me. Let's eat up and go from there. Okay. Whew, I am stuffed. Even the most humble of meals taste great with the right company. By the way, Teach, do you remember the night before the ball? I know it was five years ago, but we promised that the Golden Deer House would reunite during the Millennium Festival. Today's the day we promised to meet up, but no one's here. True, there's still some daylight left. Let's wait just a little longer. You never know, maybe someone will show up after all. Or maybe we had this is a hey, reunion teach. trip and we just need to get the band back boring, together. So why don't we get in some exercise? You know, help with digestion and stuff. You must be in bad shape if you've been sleeping for five years. It'll do you good to get your body moving again. Something like that. Look, if you come with me, you'll understand. Oh, and don't forget your weapons, okay? I want to make sure neither your leadership nor your skill with a blade have dulled. Okay. Yo, look at the glow-ups. The... And this is only Claude. Let's see how everybody else... Ooh. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Imperial Loyalist Cornelia has subdued all regions of the former royal house of Bladed to prevent further revolt. Prince Dimitri has been sentenced. Now, the backbone of the former kingdom, houses Gautier and Fraldarius, struggle to Dog, Dimitri has got to glow up. Cornelia, operating out of the royal palace, has accepted the support of the Empire to build an army and plots to wipe out all remaining kingdom forces. In the Leicester Alliance, House Regan leads an anti-imperial faction, while House Gloucester directs the Empire's supporters. Despite the undeniable threat of fracture, the Alliance's adept new leader, Claude, deftly maintains the outward appearance of a unified front. In Envar, the imperial capital of the Adresnian Empire, Emperor Edelgard fights to strengthen her regime. She has extended her reach to the kingdom by inciting a coup and continues to draw its former lords under her influence in pursuit of controlling all Western Fodland. In the meantime, the Knights of Seros have been dispatched to find Archbishop Rhea, who remains missing despite their searching. Left unattended, the monastery at Garag Mach has fallen to ruin and become a haven for thieves. All right. Dog, this is a new game now. This is like Three Houses 2. Do, 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 do. Reunion at dawn. The thieves are here. Apparently, they're trying to run off with treasures from the monastery. What the? Intruders! Protect the goods! This is gonna get expensive. Collect everything the thieves carried out. What's my strategy? 
Okay, so I guess I'm just killing people now. Cool, I got a training lance. That can go back. At the ready. Oh shit, you got uh, a fancy new bow. Are you actually Sorry. kidding me, Claude? Please. Please. Are you kidding me? It's over. This could turn the tides. Closer to me. It's a piece of cake. Hold the grudge if you must. We're all desperate, aren't we? And one. Okay. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. My moment has arrived. You got yourself killed. Yeah. Hold it wrong. Dog. Sorry, but I must. The barbarity is even oh. worse than the rumors. On my honor as a noble, I will expel these ruffians. Yo. Today was supposed to be a happy day. Yo, finally, Ignat's got a good haircut. Over there. Is that the professor and the others? Yo, look at these glow ups. I this before I celebrate, though, huh? <laughs> you finally made it. I suppose virtue still exists in this crazy world after all. All right, cool. Steady now. For the future of Bodeland. Shall we? And one. Some things you can't. Uh, 
cool. Got leather shield. Nope. Still alive. I believe I can do more. Oh, constantly getting these door keys. Let's do this right. yourself killed I'm that much closer to my goal here is something to believe in all is going to plan this could turn the tides all right, please keep coming at me. going to plan there is still room for improvement Oh That's shit. Professor and everyone else? If they're fighting, I gotta go help. Wow, it's you. Here I thought you were dead all this time. Could that be the professor's ghost? Oh shit, Marianne, she's not hey, tired wait. anymore. Hurry up and help. Won't be in vain. We can handle that. I've got another option. Oh, yeah, let's boost this gambit.
Sorry, but I must. All right, send that to the convoy. I'll do my best. Leave it to me. Well, I don't think she has any chess keys, though. of Bodlin. Alright, good looking. This, duty. this should be suitable. split into two groups if we hit them from the north and south we can trap their leader in a pincer attack all right that is what i am attempting to do Should have seen that coming. I could talk. You've been alive all this time? Where have you been hiding? Never mind. Talk later. Okay. All right. Let's just wait then. Do do do. A 
I'm all right. We're all desperate, aren't we? your head sometimes. Are you kidding me? Alright, um... No, I'm not the one you want. Yeah, I guess I've got no choice. All right. Well, at least he accepted his death. Here is something to believe in. <laughs> My sword in your chest. There, you're dead. Here's something to believe in. It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? So he revealed his true identity. Catch him and recover the treasure. Okay. Should yield me a tidy profit. All right. Why don't you yield this axe in your chest? Oh, come on, Hilda, Hilda. Can't be slacking. wasn't meant to be we took care of that are you sufficiently warmed up teach all right hunting by daybreak we took care of it now how is this uh, like am i still going to be teaching you guys like i don't know what's going to be happening now What gives, Professor? Oh, I was so excited to see everyone again, and then this happens. I'm still tired from the long journey. How did it come to this? Let's all take a moment to catch our breath. Mm, if you've got the spare time to play with those guys, the least you could do is prepare some tea. We were hoping someone would come to back us up when we started routing the bandits. It seems they've been taking advantage of the church's absence and doing whatever they please here. In any case, um, I'm glad that all of you are well. She's That's actually smiling. Area. That was fun. In fact, I wouldn't mind romping around some more. So, you were alive this whole time, Professor. I am not surprised. In fact, that is why I came here. And it doesn't look like time has rusted your skills. That's a relief. I'm just glad everyone's alive and well. On that note, let's move this reunion party somewhere else. Okay. Now that we've dealt with those violent bandits, we could potentially use this place as our base of operations again. What could you possibly mean by that? I'm talking about the Leicester Alliance taking over Garrett Mock Monastery. After all, it's right in the middle of Foden. It's a critical strategic location. Are you suggesting that we fight back against the Empire? Aren't you getting a bit ahead of yourself? The Alliance is in complete discord at present. 
And, as leader of the Imperial faction of the Alliance, isn't Count Gloucester, your father, the main cause of that discord? I... Yes, that is true. It was inevitable. Our house's territory is close to Imperial land, after all. Had we not consented to vassalage under the Empire, they would have invaded immediately. Naturally. And, to be clear, I have no problem with your house maintaining its Imperial ties until we're sufficiently prepared to revolt. The Empire is the cause of the infighting. If we rid ourselves of them, the situation should resolve itself. That's why I'm thinking we should make this our base, raise up an army, and stir up some trouble for the Empire. Now you're talking. Sounds like fun. So then, Mr. Leader Man, does this mean you intend to rope us into your little scheme? Hmm? Ah, my grandfather passed away. That means yours truly is officially the leader of the Alliance. Oh, that's if cool. If we had a more reliable leader, perhaps the Alliance would not have been divided. Think what you will. All I need to know is if you're in or you're out. I'm happy to lend a hand. I won't let those Imperial dogs set foot in Alliance territory. I couldn't bear it if my village got caught up in the chaos of war. I'll fight too. I've got to protect my little sis. I will join as well. After all, House Ordelia was once dragged into an Imperial Revolt. It ruined us. Ah, uh, of course. I understand your motivation. I'll fight too. It's time to take responsibility for my own future. I... I don't want to run anymore. I hope I'll be of use to everyone. We can do anything if we work together, Marianne. What about you, Lawrence? Are you going to go back home to your scary father or what? We cannot rely on Claude's scheming to lead us to victory. Therefore, I will remain. Uh. It is my duty to ensure Claude does not worsen the situation in the Alliance. All of us are fighting for a different reason, but we share a common enemy. If we don't act, the Empire will crush us eventually. I say we stop them before they have the chance. So, teach. Will you help as well? Uh, sure. All the more reason to join us. Admit it, you're not going to be able to do much on your own. With you on our side, the church will join us as well. That makes fighting the Empire a moral cause, which means it'll be easier to rally support. Above all, your knowledge and strength are indispensable if we hope to stand a chance against the Imperial Army. Without you, my schemes are nothing. They're just words. Please, take all of that into consideration as you decide. Well, I mean, really if I want the story to continue. Line. Well, all that aside, this place is a mess. We can't very well make our base in a ruin. And repairing it sounds like a lot of work. I wonder if anyone would be willing to help us out with that. Okay. Can it be? You were alive all this time? Professor, it is so good to see you. <laughs> Dog, what the fuck is up with Juan? about you. I guess he lucked out. Why does she still look the same? We've Whatever. I for you. But I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. It has been five years since Lady Rhea disappeared. We have devoted all of our energies to finding her. However, without being able to set foot in Empire territory, we are at a standstill. We had hoped that perhaps the Archbishop would return here on this day. That of the long-awaited Millennium Festival. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. Though I don't suppose you had very high hopes in that regard. Even if she were able to return here, with the monastery in ruins, I don't think she would have felt safe enough to do so. Right, Hilda? Yeah! This is an important location <laughs> for the church. To think you've left it in such a state. I agree. Maybe we left it alone for too long. Who's this random and why does he have speaking lines? And leaving this place in ruins affects the safety of this area, too. Then let's do it. If we all work together, we can restore the monastery to its original beauty. We will require the aid of skilled craftsmen, too. 
I shall seek out any such individuals who are willing to return to Garrick Mock. Fantastic! I'll figure out how to split up the work, and then we can get started. Five years still ain't nothing changed. Hilda's still trying to get out of working. All right. Part two, Verdant Wind, Guardian Moon, The Alliance Leader's Ambitions. Claiming the monastery at Garrig Mach as its home base, the Alliance Army joins forces with the Knights of Seros. Together, they begin to take up arms against the Adrestian Empire. Okay. Okay. So I need to check on them. Good work, Hilda. You didn't do much manual labor, but you managed to rope the knights into helping us restore the monastery. Thanks, Claude. But all I did was piggyback on your scheme. I saw your eyes telling me to make some magic happen. We appreciate your assistance with the restoration of the monastery. Oh, please, it was nothing. We're just doing our part as former students. I'm told you even routed the bandits. That job should have fallen to us. I'm sorry for the trouble. Hey, don't think twice about it. We're all allies in the resistance against the Empire, right? The Church is at war with the Empire, but let's be realistic. Wouldn't it be better for the Alliance to eventually submit? The way I see it, the Emperor wants to take over all of Fodlan and destroy the existing order of the world. I can't see her allowing the Alliance to continue to exist. We're in this just as deeply as you are. Actually, we were hoping to use this place as a base. The Empire begs to be meddled with, and we're first in line. Why would you make your base here? Garrick Mach is situated in the center of Fodlan, both geographically and spiritually. We want to secure this location while the Empire is still overlooking it. I see. The Empire doesn't see this place as important at the moment because it's far from the front lines. But if we simply decide that it's ours to occupy, that does nothing to inspire the hearts and minds of the people of Fodlan. Luckily, good old Teach has finally returned to us. If the professor Rhea entrusted with the sword of the creator fights at our side, well now, that's a just cause anyone could get behind. What's more, here we are, working alongside the legendary Knights of Saros. It smacks of divine providence, doesn't it? Can you feel it? I have heard what you have to say, Claude. And you, professor? Where do you stand? Hmm. On our own, we lack sufficient military strength. But with the help of the Alliance... The Archbishop said if anything should happen to her, that we should entrust the affairs of the Church to you. If you intend to fight alongside the Alliance, then I will follow you as well. Is that acceptable, Claude? <laughs> of course. I can't think of anything more reassuring than having both Teach and the Knights on our side. Together, we'll stop the Emperor and her reckless ambitions. Okay, cool. Is it someone's birthday? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's talk to Marianne. What's going Dear on? Goddess, I ask for guidance. Professor, you're always watching over me, aren't you? I've spent my entire life avoiding people. Speaking to others was so difficult for me, so I made a point to always be alone. Animals and the goddess were the only ones I could really open up to. Do you remember the time you asked what it was I prayed for? Yes. Oh, good thing you didn't make me and remember that. that. Case. Back then, I felt that my life served no purpose 
and that I was nothing more than a burden. In truth, I was begging the goddess to take me to her. That was my daily prayer. But now I fear the idea of dying and being left alone. I have friends who accept me for who I am now, in spite of my crest. And I have you watching over me. What was her crest? I finally learned to accept the kindness and warmth of others. It's because of you, Professor. Because of you, I've decided to live. I'm sorry to have worried you, but I'm all right now. Even if I'm separated from you or any of my friends, the memories I've made here will give me the strength to continue on. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm sure I'll have the strength to move forward if we're together. <laughs> Oh wow, we're at A. Like A. Alright. All right, so right now, default, he's a wavering master. Who? Hilda? All right, so her flying it, okay. Yo, I forgot. Okay. Everybody has their glow up sprites or whatever. Can I do master class? Dude. Too bad my reason is like super low. Dog, I did not work on my reason whatsoever. go explore this monastery while wow, already outside the gate uh petra yo what's going on oh yeah glow up petra Professor, damn please do not be concerned i just did too much overworking and lost my strength yes i have no problems except my apology for giving you worry i have sorrow uh, i mean no, the glow-ups are ridiculous. At a time like this. Even though I was not asking for your care and attention, you gave it willingly. I am thinking that is incorrect. Will you have a listen to me? There is something that I must be saying. I am thinking you already have knowledge of why I came to Fodwin. Not for studying, but as a hostage for the Empire. So that Bridget would not be rebelling anymore. It feels like a knife against my throat. That I am making my grandfather obey the Empire. If I were running away from the Empire, then Bridget would be defeated. I am not having any options. To be living, I must be fighting to win. For Bridget to be living, the Empire needs to be crushed. So I must be crushing the Empire. That is what my people are wanting from me. 
and what my grandfather, the King of Bridget, is wanting. My Ooh, want. flipping on you. What do you I, want? I am not knowing of that. The wants of my people are something I have power to achieve. Their wants are my own. Uh... I have understanding. Oops. Wait, no, I, I actually do not have understanding. Yet, what I am understanding is that there is something I am not understanding. When I know what my true want is, I give you my promise that I will be telling you first. Okay. Support level A now. All right, so we got tons of we got tons of stuff to do, but for right now, I am going to be ending off the stream right here. Unfortunately, was unable to get to Astral Chain, but you know how it is. I'm going to be streaming Astral Chain tomorrow. I'm going to try to see if I can get up early to do it because I'm tired of doing these late, late, late night streams. But I don't know. Some people tend to like those streams, so. Uh, who knows? But uh, for right now, Jesus, everybody and their mother is at the cathedral. Well, yeah, we're just going to check a few Mary things. Oh, yeah, Mary Ann can help me on some stuff. Shambles. We can st the goddess will surely hear our prayers. But still, I hope the church can return to its former beauty someday. All right. No. So maybe I can give people some people back their stuff. Really? Who can teach me some stuff about reason? Maybe you can. Professor. I have written to my father to signal my intention to remain here. Not that I require his approval to do so. There is not much for me to gain by returning to Alliance territory now. But by staying, I will be able to influence the course of events directly on the field of battle. Naturally, someone needs to make certain he does not lead the Alliance to ruin. Okay. Uh, advanced drills. All right. Who else can probably help my reason? Maybe you? I've grown weary and impatient. These past five years, my hands have been bound. But now... I can finally take action with a clear goal. I'm grateful to you and to everyone. Nonsense. Your presence steeled everyone's resolve. Okay. Uh, advanced drills. Okay. This experience is critical. Okay. This experience is critical. All right. Um. Shit. I didn't get my stuff out the greenhouse. Yo, is there any possibility? Yo. Hey. Head 
strong, but Claude could give me a run for my money. I mean, he's dragged the knights into this. You ought to be careful, Professor. Don't worry about me. I'm here because I want to be. Also, because being around my big brother feels like a real chore. Okay. Okay, and we're going to also be doing some of these side missions. Or some of these, like, requests or whatever. Oops, not this way. Need something. Only got 500? See you again soon. Really? You see, I'm interested in cooking, but I can't seem to get any better at it. Okay. All right. Hmm. Let's go to Flame real quick. Where is she at? Why you still look the same? Teach. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Professor. <gasps> Professor, I am so glad you were unharmed. No matter the path you walk, I will be with you every step of the way. Anything you ask of me, I shall see it through. You saved my life, and I am in your debt. Okay. Oh, give me one second. Oh, all she can help me is with... Okay. I was not listening to her, so, oh well. Uh, let me check my support. Do, do, do. Uh, okay, so I got A and the S's. Maybe I should focus on Leone just a little bit. End up, uh, end off with hanging out with Listeria for a bit, and then see if I can. Let me give you one of these. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Fuck. Okay. Um. All right. I did not expect much from the dining hall. But this does not disappoint. This food is a revelation. I enjoy baking sweets, but I'm oh not shit, sure Mercedes, everybody with the God, all right. Cooking is much more exciting than studying or training. Wow. 
What's up here on the third floor? Oh, this is her room. It's actually not as big as I thought it was going to be. All right. It's weird that I can just go in her room, but whatever. All right. So we are going to end it off right here for right now and uh yeah this was a good stream i we a lot of stuff happened and i'm excited to see what's going to happen next but until next time see you guys later Peace.